Steve Turnquist is constantly in excruciating pain and can barely walk. It's a pain that is just agonizing in there all the time. It wakes you up. He needs a hip replacement. After 13 months on a wait list, there was hope. His surgery was finally scheduled, but now COVID-19 dashed that hope. He spends his days crocheting, counting the hours. I don't know when I'm going to get a hip. I need a hip. Uh, and our hospitals are right full right now. Everything is getting pushed off all over the place. And, and we're, not, we're not getting the, the health care that we need. Saskatchewan's health care system is under severe stress. Today, again, more than 500 new cases and record numbers in hospitals and ICUs. Organ donations have been halted. The impact on non-COVID patients who need surgeries is devastating. It's tough. Like we, we feel for our patients who might be uh, being kind of they might be feel somewhat abandoned in the community. Amid criticism this week, Premier Scott Moe singled out Northern First Nations for low COVID-19 vaccination rates. It should be how can we help the northern communities? What can we do uh, to work together? Mo also suggested doctors should do more to educate the public to boost vaccination rates, sparking more frustration. We were pretty um, caught off guard and kind of dumbfounded. Many, many physicians and other healthcare workers have really stepped up. Meanwhile, Turnquist and others like him can only watch in pain as Saskatchewan's situation worsens. Omera Issa, CBC News, Regina.